guess it's up to one of you fine folks to call it to order. I know we didn't vote last time. I think we just discussed on having a vice president or uh, a second to, to lead the meetings, but if <laughs> they shall be right. This is Groundhog Day again. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Martin. You can do that. So it's a brief agenda. Uh, I got the order wrong. I thought that we passed it here, public hearing at council with the general fund budget when they do theirs. Melissa corrected that, and I thank you again, Melissa, for that. It's public hearing here first, pass the budget, and then it, then it goes up to council for, for their approval. So the next order of business is to conduct a public hearing, uh, Madam. Madam Vice President, I guess for now, um, if you would uh, open the public hearing, Melissa, will you step in and help us if we get something parliamentary wrong? Anybody to be heard, probably. past from, from when you were on, in fact. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think we're just about done. And then maybe he'll close it if, if nobody has any, if there's no citizens to, to be heard. He's going to check the hallway, uh, Madam Vice President, and let him look there, make a quick announcement, and then I think we've satisfied the requirements along with the admin paper. Okay, yes ma'am. I think you close the hearing first and then the next agenda item we, we'll, we'll rediscuss if need be and, and then a second. Tom, second. And uh, discussion and action on the, on the final 2020 budget that we proposed last week. If anybody has any questions that might have come arisen uh, since then, um, if not, there's no changes on our end. This was just a, a procedural, uh, really, and I and I apologize, uh, folks. Last year's last year's procedures were 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 also somewhat unorthodox, um, and I'm not going to point fingers. But this year we have a, a city secretary who was on it, and and I was just confused on the way the statute read and how we did it last year. But uh, we're on track now. Um, if if you'll uh, approve and pass the budget again, we'll get it before council at the next council meeting and and move forward. I think it's just another motion then, uh, Madam Vice President. Yes, ma'am, I think that's appropriate just to, just to make sure it's in the right order, but. Call for a vote. And, and are you, yeah, okay, so unanimous, <laughs> Melissa. And then the last agenda item, we, we touched on it last week uh, as far as scheduling 2000, uh, 2020 uh, meetings. I, I think it's probably prudent to not necessarily put them in stone yet, but just say let's try to follow this year's meeting, uh, meeting dates as closely as we can, although they won't fall on Wednesday if we use the exact dates. That's why I say let's, let's loosely pick uh, the similar dates that fall on a Wednesday for last year's that correspond with last year's time frame. You know, if it was February the 8th on Wednesday last year, we'll cr it's going to be February the 9th or 7th this year. I'm not sure which way the, the dates are, you know, flowing, probably the 9th. Um, and then we'll just send out plenty of notice for everybody and get once after I've looked at the calendar and confirmed 2020 uh, Wednesdays for the same dates or similar dates, I'll send out that email if the captain will. Does that seem, seem appropriate at this time? Okay. Um, if nobody, ha we didn't put an agenda item for announcements. Would that be appropriate, Melissa, since we normally would have them or would we just be done? Okay, then uh, motion to adjourn, um, Madam Vice President. Thank you all very much, and I appreciate your, your service, uh, public service, as always. <laughs> take advantage of those, man. They're too few and far between, so <laughs> we'll take them when they come. But, I, I, again, I appreciate uh, y'all obliging us on this. 
so I didn't know we could do that. La we didn't have that direction last year. And, and Melissa said, yes, we can. We will do that. Absolutely, George, like we did tonight. We'll do the public hearing and then vote on it and, and adopt it. And that will eliminate that, that meeting. Uh, absolutely. So, so Melissa advised us that we could do that. Last year I didn't receive that advice, so we will do that going forward if the, if the board agrees to it. And I think it's, it warranted. Absolutely. All right. Thank you all.